What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about car seats and how they fit in the second generation 2017 to 2024 Mazda CX-5. So we've got two popular car seats here, an infant car seat, the Chico Keyfit 30, and a convertible car seat, the Nuna Rava. And in this video, we're going to answer all the common car seat questions I see about the CX-5, like how's the front seat room if I'm this tall and can I fit two car seats in the back and fit a third person in the middle? That's something we have a lot of experience with. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's start with the most common question and that is if I'm this tall, can I sit comfortably in front of this infant car seat? And I can say with the key fit 30 here, I'm about 5'11 and this is my driving position and you can see that there is enough room here. Um, it is recommended that you have a two inch gap here between the front of the car seat and the seat back. And depending on how you measure it, you know, it's, I think this is about two inches, but pretty close. And just so you guys can be sure, let me get in the front so you guys can see what my driving position is like. So this is very comfortable. This is my normal driving position. So my guess is if you or your passenger is about six feet or less, you can probably sit comfortably in front of the Chico Kifa 30 in the Mazda CX-5. Now, a few things to note. You can see my seat back is very upright and that is how I usually drive. When I'm riding in the passenger seat, I do like to be a little bit more reclined and especially on long road trips, if I was sitting in front of the Chico Keyfit 30, I'd have to sit a little more upright than how I would want to most comfortably sit. Now, as a test, just for some more information for you guys, I just slid the seat all the way back. And to my surprise, there actually may be still enough room. Now, I don't think you have the two inches for that maximum safety, but if I raise this thing up, if I put it down, I can't push it all the way down, but you don't really need to put this handle down. So if you raise this handle up, this could work. Now note that the seat back is very upright. Now what I think might be really helpful for you guys is I'm gonna move the seat forward to see what's the maximum you can have it back to have a real safe clearance here. So I'm gonna measure here and with it all the way back, you can see about two and a half inches here. Okay, now I just moved the seat forward and we are about at one and three quarter inches. So about three quarters, of, three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch forward from the maximum back position. And this is still slightly behind where I sit with the seat at 5'11". And you can see up here, I feel pretty comfortable with this amount of clearance. Now, just some things to note. Note the seat height is adjustable, so that can affect kind of how much clearance you have here. Um, it could potentially allow you to sit with, with the seat even further back. So hopefully all that information can help you guys make the judgment on if the CX-5 with the Chico Keyfit 30 or another infant car seat, which is probably about the same size, will work for you. Now let's jump over to the other side and look at the Nuna Rava. So this is a convertible car seat. We currently use it for our almost four-year-old, but you can use this for newborns as well. But I'm wondering, with the Nuna Rava rear-facing, how much room are we going to have? Is it going to be more or less than the Chico car seat? Let's see. All right, so the Nuna Rava has a lot of different recline positions. But let's start with the most upright, most compact one. Um, and you can see here, I've put the passenger seat to eyeball match the position I had the driver's seat in. And you can see here, we have a good amount of room still. Now note the new Rava is a much more tall car seat compared to the Chico, um, which I think you'll find with a lot of the convertible car seats. So the point where you're measuring is higher up on the seat back. 
Now I've reclined the new Nuna Rava to the maximum here to give a seating position more similar to the Chico. And you can see here now we're definitely cutting it close here in terms of space. Uh, I can squeeze two fingers here, but that's probably about it. So I'd say overall for using the new Narava as an infant car seat, you're probably good. Although I do think the Chico Kifa 30 or a traditional infant seat probably gives you a little bit more flexibility with your room. Okay, so now let's talk about as your baby's getting older. That may present more challenges for you depending on what you want to do with the car seat. Um, and it definitely did for us. So traditionally, they used to say two years old, you'd switch over to a front facing car seat. And with that, you save a lot of room. We just saw this front facing and of course, the front seat could go pretty much back as far as you want safely. And we do know a lot of people that went that route. But a lot of people are saying now it's safer to keep your kids rear facing for as long as you can. But you can see the Rava like this is, looks pretty cramped for any child, probably once they're about two years old. So the Nuna Rava actually has a leg extension that you reach up under here and pull out to allow you to use the Nuna Rava rear facing for three, four, maybe even five years old. So let's see how much space then we have with the extension out rear facing. Now with the extension out, it's not a huge difference, but I'd estimate about an inch. So in terms of our two inches here, I think we probably need to move this seat forward. And remember, we're actually in the most upright position here. So if you wanted to recline, this seat would need to come even more forward. So now by my estimate, we have that two inches of room here. And let's see what the front seat room is like. So here's how it is. It's definitely okay, good for short trips. And note, I think the seat is about how my driving position would be at about 5'11". Uh, but on the passenger side, is this how I'd want to ride in a long trip? I don't think so. So my opinion for a rear facing toddler seat under 5'10", you're probably good, 5'10 to 6 feet. It's starting to get a little bit, a little bit depends. And over 6 feet, it's, you're probably going to have a problem. And remember, that's the most upright position if you wanted to use a more reclined position for your toddler. Now we're all, already hitting the seat back there, so we need to go up even more. Now the final question to answer can an additional passenger sit in the back when you have two car seats? Now the thing that would make this easy is if you could mount one of these car seats in the middle and one on the side, then your passengers could get in on this side um, and that would be very easy. But I'll say I've tried with the Chico in the middle and the Nuna in the middle, but either way, I could not safely mount the two car seats um, the two car seats were touching each other and pushing one of them kind of skewed. So do I think that would be safe? I don't think so. If you left your car seats a little bit loose, um, I think you could do it with these two. There may be some smaller or slimmer car seats on the market where you could make that work. But here's a look at the room you have in the middle between the two car seats. So can you squeeze a person back here? Yes. Is it comfortable? Probably not. Um, so we have squeezed full-size adults. Uh, my wife has been back there. Uh, let me put myself back there just so you guys can see. With the two rear facing, this is more difficult because I've got to remove my infant car seat. Have the passenger get in first, then someone else needs to put, put the baby in the car. But here's how it looks. So this does work. <laughs> um, I am a pretty slim person, but it works and I can even buckle my seat belt. Okay, finally, let's just look at the middle passenger with the Nuna Rava front facing. 
which is what we were doing now with my daughter almost four years old. Um, we switched her over um, sometime after her third birthday. And the space is about the same, but I do have entry through this side, which makes it a little bit easier, but still not great. Now note here with this front facing, my shoulder room is now more compromised. I think in reality, in most practical circumstances, the third passenger in the back seat with two car seats in the CX-5 is only good for an occasional pinch. And if you're gonna need this configuration often, I think you're gonna need a wider two row SUV or three row car. So that's it. Hope this video helped you guys. I know this is one of the most common questions I see online about the CX-5 and we had a lot of the same questions ourselves. So if this helped you, definitely let us know. And if you have any additional questions, post them in the comments below and I'll see you in our next video.